Good morning, folks. Welcome to another chip break. Wow, it has been a great week. So what is going on? We have been just loving the Haas. It has been awesome. Why haven't we filmed anything with it yet? So we've been working on our first product on the Haas and it has been running. Uh, we've had it running from 6 a.m. till about 11 p.m. a few days, which is just awesome. And so the first product is this mini vice palette. We use these in our job shop. I'll show you the one that I've got left that we haven't uh, got in use right now, this guy right here. And they're great because uh, I don't like taking off my six inch vices if I don't have to. And most of the work we do on things like this can go in a six inch vise. So these drop into a six inch vise or they'll fit in a smaller vise. if You just move the jaw to the back side. Each hole has a quarter 20 for threaded fastener and a precision machined hole for that was a little tight there, sorry, holding the camera with two hands here, for a dowel pin. So it's been awesome. We do, I think, a nice job with the packaging. I've been learning some lessons on there. And what we did was we pre-sold a bunch to the folks that support us on Patreon. And to me, that was important because this is, I wanna do this right, I wanna nail this. And there's been so much fun things that we've learned in tooling up for this and building up a process. It's not just, the cycle start button, it's the design, it's nailing down the tolerances. I want these things to look spectacular. I want the finishes, to, I want somebody to open this and think, this is how you machine something, this is amazing. And we're there. Um, but what that also means is, how do we market it? How do we do the packaging? How do we do the shipping? Which is what we're gonna talk about in today's business lesson. How do we optimize the cycle time? Uh, I'll show you on my desk, we just got a new tool a Sandvik uh, through spindle drill, which is going to help. We're roll tapping every single thread that gives you a better thread uh, quality, a stronger thread, and there's no chip, there's no burr. It's so much fun. Our chip pan just came in. We're gonna use that to clean these up because that's another thing. We've been making a huge amount of chips with this Haas, and that's great, but if there's one lesson I've already learned, it's how important uh, that side of the machine is. The chip evacuation, making sure your coolant gets returned back to the coolant tray. We haven't had a problem, except that honestly, I've been filling this thing up. I think I filled it up four times in the last three days, and I've gotta have someone here to easily dump it into our recycle bin. So that is freaking awesome. So once we get this nailed down here in the next week or two, we'll do a video where we really show this whole process. You know, we've got two carb, uh, two orange vices with carb smarts, which we're using um, in the fixturing. So op one happens here, op two happens here. We're doing mid routine probing to check and update our four work coordinate systems. You know, it's funny, I think state of the art might be an exaggeration of, for manufacturing, but darn it, this is like, this is so cool what we're doing here, I think. Um, I got two more orange vices on order because I need to do, I mean, it's funny how quickly you go to this is fun to, I gotta make these things. Um, they are available for sale. I call this like a soft release. I don't really want hundreds of orders right now. Um, if you're ordering one for Christmas, we've got I think about 40 in stock and we'll be able to make some more, but I don't wanna ever mismanage expectations, especially if you guys want this as a Christmas present for yourself or for somebody else. They do come wrapped like this, so in my opinion, that's pretty darn good to uh, throw under a tree. And once we, you know, once we get this down and we get a couple hundred in inventory or whatever, then I'm gonna go for sort of the hard launch. We've got more products like this coming. This, folks, is why I bought the Haas. Will we use it for job shop work? For sure. But, I, it, to me, it's a production machine. It's gonna be set up to run stuff like this. I wanna learn how to do that stuff efficiently and smart. Every night when I leave, I wanna hit cycle start and run a batch of parts. I get so excited. Uh, speaking of job shop jobs, we're about to film next week's Wednesday widget, which is a cast iron part with some creative fixturing for another YouTuber that goes by the name of Keith Rucker. So I'm actually really excited to do that. Um, but the shop's a little messy. I've been trying to clean up and organize while we um, go through this whole process. What else is going on? You say hi to everybody? You say hi? So here is that Sandvik drill, Coro Drill 860 carbide through spindle coolant drill. This is the this is the big boy world, folks. Um, that drill was about $180. Should last for 17,000 holes or more, according to the Sandvik spec. We're gonna run it at 15,000 
RPMs at 150 inches a minute, no pecking, straight through one inch and change aluminum. Oh my God, we haven't run it yet. We've been using a 150 degree parabolic drill, like thanks to Tim Paul, actually pretty cheap, 36 bucks from McMaster. We're running it at about 70 inches a minute. So that's kind of the long-term question. Is it worth it to double the speed for five times the price? I think it probably is, but we'll see. How long does it hold up? All that stuff. It's been it's been so much fun, folks. The my buddy Dave launched these things called spike trays. So cool. He started machining about the same time I am. He's got a beautiful five-axis machine now. Look at these things. Completely awesome swag thing organizer. Just beautiful, you know, machined art. So D Dave, thank you for making these. You can check them out. I'll link in the video description there. Super cool. We had something come yesterday that was really cool and I'm not even, I, it's almost speechless, but it showed up. It's so cool. Folks, thank you. Like, thank you. I love that I get to do this stuff. It's just, it was, to see that come, I was like, what, what is this package from? And I cut it open and I just, I just smiled. And it's, there's been like that in the, the Autodesk University where they cited us as I can't even say it, like it's so weird to, to talk about myself like this, but you know, redefining American manufacturing and folks like, look at Dave, you know, guys that didn't know what machines were five, 10 years ago that are now doing what they love, running profitable businesses, crushing it, uh, I love it. Speaking of running businesses, today's business lesson is what we picked up, the software here called ShipStation. Uh, we just signed up for it on a recommendation about a, mm, three weeks ago. It has been amazing. It pulls in all of my various website stores, eBay, I can put manual orders in, our main website, our Etsy site, uh, more to come on that. And it is so efficient. You can use the post office, you can use FedEx, you can use UPS. It will do batch orders so we can literally batch everything up, hit print and it'll just, the label maker just spits out labels, you know, just keeps going. Um, such a time saver, so efficient. It pulls all my shipping into one thing. So when someone asks me a question or I need to check on something, all the tracking info is there, it auto does the emails. Such a no brainer. Uh, when we get manual orders, you can create a new order. You can copy and paste address in right from an email. So there's none of this typing each line in. Uh, it has been just like a breath of fresh air. It's such a relief. And that kind of comes back to the business side of these pallets. I'm a little nervous. I'm a kind of a conservative guy. When I launch these and when I r run them, I want to crush it. You know, I want these things shipping quickly. I want them sh shipping well, packaged well. I want them looking beautiful. The tolerance is spot on. Uh, and I think we're doing it. So I'm going to call it that our today's chip break, folks. Uh, we, I got to run a job shop job today. I got to film and then back to those mini pallets. So we'll have a video on that in the Haas soon. Take care, folks. Yeah.